Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be assembling and going over the Schwinn Axum. This bike is on and off stock. Uh, I was able to get it. It arrived in just three days after ordering. Right there it says Carton 118 of 221. We'll be going over the bike. This, like I said, a size medium. I'm 5'10". I was torn between getting a large and a medium. Uh, one of the forums or the Facebook page on the Axum, most people recommended a medium and I'm kind of uh, about it because my way back I have a full suspension Diamondback 4C that is a large and it fits me fine the Venso is a medium the frame there I stripped it because I'm going to use most of the parts on the Schwinn later on and that one fits me well too but it's an 18 inch frame the Schwinn is a 17 inch frame well, right off the bat, it's I got the blue version instead of the orange, and I'm liking the color. The other thing I'm I'm seeing is a kickstand. You know, you got a big box bike when it has a kickstand. It's pretty well packed. Has some protectors there on the wheels. Big, big, big 2.6, I believe. Tires. These things are huge, and it's a one by eight. Quick release rear, 141 millimeter boost. Super difficult to find a wheel or a hub in that size. Now, at least right here, I can see the hub looks much better quality than the TAF I used to have. So I'm actually pretty happy with those wheels. Let's go ahead and take this apart and get it mounted. Now the first version of the Axums, a lot of people had trouble with this coming loose and during shipment and the cage the bearings being damaged they have the top cap on here with a spacer a little cardboard spacer so that is not a problem that's securely in there so those bearings should be fine here's the dropper post with the reflector so the measurement of the seat tube is a 30.9 all right so the bike is all mounted up this is how it came out really happy with the bike the medium does fit me well that top tube is 23 and a half inches. The top tube on my large full suspension is 24 inches. This one has a 60 millimeter stem, whereas my full suspension has a 40 millimeter. So the cockpit feels very similar. And we have here a one by eight system. That chain ring is not replaceable on that crank set. The eight speed on the rear, that axe derailleur is pretty darn low quality the body is made of stamped steel the suspension fork is i believe a hundred millimeter shrimp branded up there there should be a link to where i took one of those apart several months back so you can see what's in that fork basically it's a coil fork with a mechanical lockout the front rotor is 180 millimeters mechanical brakes the rear rotor is 160 millimeter also of course mechanical brakes the routing for the dropper post is internal as it goes in to the seat tube all the other cables are external routing kind of a little bit of a downsider it has your bottle mounts two of them for those that don't like to carry hydration packs the color on the bike i really love those big old 2.6 tires are really cool looking like plus size unfortunately the rim is a schrader valve and the rear wheel the rear hub spacing is a quick release 141 millimeter which is rather rare the front hub is just like my taf probably the ugliest hub i've seen in my life <laughs> so at some point that's got to go for now the wheels are and the tires are staying because that is going to be a big expense in the future what I plan on doing is hopefully probably get some DT Swiss wheels in the on the DT Swiss the rear hub can be converted into a 141 quick release boost so then I would have the boost on the front and that would give me a great excuse to buy a nice suspension fork I'm going to put the bucklos on it for now the handlebars they are a hundred sorry they are 720 millimeters wide the pedals are pretty standard generic not really good pedals and the dropper post is actually after a couple of uses it's actually pretty smooth um really satisfied with it 
it actually kind of feels like my one up that's not bad and it comes with a $500 bike so that's awesome so as you've noticed the front is a tapered head tube which I have excellent fork options in the future along with an upgraded wheel so really happy with the bike for $500 it is a good looking bike by no means does it look like a cheap bike uh, once it's upgraded I hope to get that weight down to around 30 pound ish and it'll probably be my bike for quite a while I really like it it fits well for my 5 foot 10 the medium does fit fine so if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe ask any questions below and thanks for watching